Welcome movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix western film, The Harder They Fall. When an outlaw discovers his enemy is being released from prison, he reunites his gang to seek revenge. Cast alone in The Harder They Fall is worth the watch with Jonathan Majors, Idris Elba, Regina King, Lakeith Stanfield, Delroy Lindo, Zazie Beetz, RJ Seiler, and plenty more talented Actors and actresses fill this movie. This has to be one of the most impressive casts in a film this year. I enjoy Western films, and The Harder They Fall has all of the tropes, all of the classic moments you would expect from a Western film with in it but does it in such a smooth way that makes us one of the most entertaining and fantastic films i have seen this year the harder they fall like i said takes all of the tropes that you would get in a western film it has uh plots about money and land and revenge and their shootouts Everything that you would get in a classic Western film is present within this movie. But with a talented cast and smooth directing, it just makes it for really entertaining moments. Jonathan Majors leads a gang that is uh, seeking revenge against a gang that is ran by Idris Elba's character. We have Regina King who is on Idris Elba's side. We have Zazie Beetz, who is on Jonathan Major's side. We have Lakeith Stanfield, who's also on Idris Elba's side. So we have these two gangs that are separated. There's some emotional connection between Jonathan Major's character and Idris Elba as he is seeking revenge. So this film's not just a big shootout amongst all of these talented actors and actresses. There's much more to the story and much more of an emotional punch to it that gets you invested in these characters and the story that is present throughout the film. Idris Elba is amazing in this movie. He has such a presence that is feared throughout the film. Even when we haven't been introduced to him, when you hear about him and people are afraid to steal money from his gang, because of Idris Elba, it makes the character and the introduction very cinematic. And he's played a villain before. We saw him in Hobbs and Shaw. He was pretty good as of that villain. But here, he's sinister, he's ruthless, and it just works. Jonathan Majors is also really great in the film, leading his gang, and uh, some of those emotional moments really do come out. And I'm really excited to see him in the new Ant-Man and the Wasp film. I loved him in Loki. He's a very, very talented actor. Zazie Beetz is also really great. Regina King is absolutely fantastic in this role. She's also kind of on par with Idris Elba. Very ruthless, uh, sinister, uh, cold-hearted. She is amazing in this role. The, really, the whole cast in here is perfect. RJ Seiler, um, very briefly in the film, from the Power Rangers film, he's cool in here. Lakeith Stanfield, just Everybody in here just has something to contribute to the film. And when we get those classic Western tropes, those shootout sequences, um, planning to infiltrate a town and the bar sequences, the costume designs, the setting, the uh, props, everything just looks amazing. This feels like a Western film in 2021 that feels you know modern with technology and everything but the way that it looks and feels gives me that classic western vibe and those classic tropes of the shootout sequences and collecting taxes and dealing with money and land and revenge it's so pre all of it is present in here but it has its own kind of flair to it that it's not being the same exact thing from every single Western film. It's borrowing elements, but doing it in its own way, in its own style to definitely make it stand out from previous Western films. And I absolutely love that. I love how cool the shootout sequences felt. I love the 
the dialogue amongst stars, especially Zazie Beetz and Regina King, um, the conversations that people have, the backstory to everybody that's willing to go a little more deeper into who they are rather than just, hey, I'm quick at pulling out my gun and shooting you and we're about to rob some banks. It's a little more than that. And I thought the ending really, really did work and it brought out those emotional moments to where you feel invested to characters like Jonathan Majors and Idris Elba, Zazie Beetz. And there's so many people within here that yes, you know, some people are going to die and some people are going to live. But uh, when people do die, you're affected by it and it is emotional and um, because you just like you feel some sort of connection to these characters, even if some of them are very brief. So um, the cast just alone is worth, you know, a checkout. Uh, can we just appreciate Delray Lindo? Uh, I loved him last year in um, the Spike Lee film that came out last year. Um, but he's really great in this film as well. But uh, the harder they fall. If you love westerns, you need to check out this film. It's got all the classic tropes, but does it in such a smooth, cool, electric way that makes it stand out from other films. And it borrows elements from other ones regarding land, money, robbing banks, revenge. All of that is within here. But it's so, so cool. It's just a really, really good film. So before I give you my overall score for The Harder They Fall... Make sure to check out my channel here to do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give The Harder They Fall an A-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Harder They Fall, the new Netflix Western film. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.